Watching the road and looking at your power is actually a difficult technique to master. A lot of you guys have prescribed power in your workouts and it is a bit of a distraction to follow the power and watch the road. Here I'm gonna show you some things that I did as a professional rider and all the other professional riders do out there, both in the races and in training, to make it easy for them to keep an eye on what's happening going into their power meter, or going into their pedals, and also what's happening on the road in front of them. Watching the road while you're trying to watch your power is very difficult. One of the things that I like to teach our athletes and I'd like for you to do is to focus on the effort that correlates with the power number that you see. The best way to accomplish this is look down every whatever three to five seconds and see what number you're at. Try to correlate that number to the feeling that you have in your legs. The reason for this is one, it becomes safer because you're, you're watching the road, you're spending less time staring at your power meter. Two, it's way more fun because staring at your power meter is just simply not fun. But three, it's teaching you execution. You're learning what that zone feels like. You're learning what that, that level of power feels like on your legs. And when you go out to events, group rides, races, whatever, you'll be able to correlate that feeling with the effort that you're doing because of the ride. Now as a racer, this was one of the, my biggest challenges is I didn't invest a lot of time in trying to figure out what effort really did correlate to what power. And a lot of times I ended up off the front of a race or off the front of a climb and afraid that I was either doing too much or going too hard. And a lot of times I would look down and I would see, oh my gosh, right? I'm totally within myself. Had I spent more time focusing on, you know, what power equaled what feeling, I would know and I could ride more confidently off the front of races or in the races. So that's what I want you guys to focus on in your intervals. Getting that feeling down, learning how to keep track of it, and then learning how to use that feeling to your advantage out in your events and rides.